I'm using this Let It Snow wood sign from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to paint it with this blue paint. And there you go, you see that? And then of course I just painted the snowflake white. And I'm just going to dip my brush into my white chalk paint here and I'm just going to tap it so that I get, you know, like a little bit of a snow flurry effect. So, of course, when I start filming this voiceover, my dog decides to start playing with her new toy. So, anyhow, I hope that you guys had a really good Christmas. I did. Of course, my dog did, apparently, because she loves her new toy. All right. So, again, I'm just putting some snow flurries here. I may use this little sign here, also from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to cover it in white chalk paint. Again, the same one I just used. I'm going to go ahead and... Get this all measured up on here on this little sign and I will glue it down. So basically what I'm making here is a lit up sign and I just, I absolutely love how this one turned out. So again, I'm just going to glue it and if you want to make sure that it's really good and adhered, I'd put some little bit of E6000 or super glue on it as well. But so far so good, this is sticking really well. And I was a little bit bummed that I didn't have the LED lights that have a white string. So if you can find those, that would be better. Um, I do believe I picked these little lights up at Rite Aid. Um, Dollar Tree does carry something similar. I don't think the strand is as long. But anyhow, so what I'm going to do here is I'm hiding all of the wire behind the lettering. And then I'm taking um, the little bit of the bulb that and then that's what you're gonna see uh past the wood i hope that that makes sense and i did use hot glue i've actually thought hot glue might not be a good idea but i've seen a lot of diyers use hot glue and so i thought you know what i think that's going to be my best bet otherwise you could use like a lot of tape um to tape it down maybe uh, that would be another option if you're worried about the hot glue, but it's working just fine. So I'm guessing the hot glue um, didn't hurt it at all because it is just the plastic part that I'm hot gluing down. But as you can see, I'm just hiding all the little wires here, and you'll see that just the little light bulb is what peeks out from behind. I'm going to go ahead and do that all the way around, and then this project's complete. That little sign the base sign there is absolutely perfect. You could see the little um, battery pack fits there perfectly. I was excited to find the snowman wreath form at Dollar Tree, and I had this loop de loops a yarn in my stash, and so I'm not really sure where I got it. I think I got it at Joann's. And so I finally had a use for it. I will link it down below if I can find it for you. But any kind of, you know, chenille type yarn will work. So I'm just gonna start by just winding it around the wreath form. So no glue needed because I'm just gonna wrap it around itself. I'm gonna go all the way around both loops. And this is what it looks like when the yarn is all the way around both circles. Okay, so now I'm going to take some of this burlap, and I did get this at Joann's. It's a shimmery burlap. This has also been in my stash for a while because shimmer and burlap are kind of an odd combination, but it works perfect for a snowman. And it is the exact width. I mean, how lucky did I get with this? So I'm just going to wrap it around twice just so you make sure you can't see the black um, wire form underneath it and then just hot glue it. And then I'll cut off a piece um, for the, what you call that, the brim of the hat, the part that goes across. And I just fold it in, I guess I would say in force. Well, you'll see here. I can't remember. I don't know how you would describe it, but I'm just going to basically make a long strip um, and then just glue that down.
going to use the same burlap for the scarf, so I just kind of measure how I want it. Um, I kind of don't go with the original plan, but the start works good. So again, I'm going to um, just make it to the thickness that I want and glue that down. Originally, I thought I would just, you know, make it go from the back to the front, but really a scarf usually goes all the way around and then comes back into the front. And so I end up doing it that way. I simply went to my yard and found some twigs and I'm just going to cut them down um, to the same length as these wire hands that you see here and just glue them down. Now sometimes hot glue and wire don't go together but these seem to adhere just fine. And so I will again just glue those down. And then next it's just about embellishing the hat and the scarf and this project's done. It was super quick and easy and I, this is like one of my favorite wreaths and sometimes less is more you don't have to do a whole lot so I'm really really happy with how this turned out you have to let me know down in the comments if you found this snowman wreath form um, I wanted to make another one and went to my Dollar Tree and they didn't have them anymore um, but I have a couple Dollar Trees so I went to another one and they had like 20 so I was pretty excited okay so um, I'm taking this pick that I got from Michael's. It was in their grab bag, so I think it turned out to be like 10 cents for this, which is great. But you can just get any greenery. And I'm just gonna use the greenery. Um, I thought I might use the pine cones, um, but then I decided not to. I'm just going to glue the greenery down. And my camera cut off, but I just took two of the wood Snowflakes that you can find at Dollar Tree. I painted them white and I added them to the snowman and that is it Like I said, it was a really easy project, but I am in love with how it turned out This is a new sign that I found at Dollar Tree. I love it. This is Snowflake. It's from Michaels. It was on sale for a dollar and some more of these ornaments from Walmart as well as some more of the antique wax and some ribbon. And what I love about this snowflake is that it already has that whitewash rusticness to it so I didn't even have to do anything. So that was pretty great. So first you're just going to cover this little wooden sign with this antique wax.
And once that's done, it's just a matter of gluing everything down. So I just hot glue down the snowflake, then the little ornament charm and a bow, and that is it. This project is done. Super fast, super quick, but it looks really amazing. To take these skates from Dollar Tree and paint them up. I used moss Waverly uh, for the main part of the skate. I used some, uh, gosh, I don't know, it's like a hazelnut, I think, for the brown and steel for the silver. And I'm going to go ahead and grab these ribbons. So this ribbon is really fun that I got at Hobby Lobby this year, $7.99, and I got it for half off. And it's a huge roll, it's going to last a really long time. Uh, again, this is another um, ribbon, the white ribbon there, I think is also from Hobby Lobby. No, Celebrate It is Michael's. So that was from Michael's. I probably got that on clearance. Same with the snowflake ribbon. Okay, and so this sled, which I meant to show first, and I apologize, but the sled is from the Target Dollar Spot. So this sled was $3, really good price. As you can see, I just crisscrossed that white ribbon over that fun, um, I don't even know what you would call that, kind of like a mesh ribbon. And then I just make a circle there with my snowflake because I don't want this to have big tails. I want it, you know, not to cover the skates. So I just glue the skates down and glue the bow on which I put this gray trim ribbon around the center to finish it off, and that's it. Such a fast, easy makeover. I thought those skates were so high-end from Dollar Tree, so this whole project was just a little over $4. I love picking up clearance signs. This one's from Hobby Lobby, and as you can see, it was 90% off, and it was only $1.19, so great find. I went ahead and just covered that inside there, the blue, which is the same color I used on the Let It Snow um, sign. So again, just painted over what was already there. I went on my Cricut and I typed out, snowflakes are kisses from heaven. And I used the font Annie Lou, and I it's L-E-W, but I will mark that down below. I do believe that just came in the Cricut fonts. I don't think that's when I downloaded. Again, just putting this right down. Okay, and then lastly, I'm going to use this big snowflake. I don't remember where I got it. It's been in my stash for at least two years. I think it's from Dollar Tree. Um, if it's not, then it's probably from the 99 cent store, but I'm pretty sure that Dollar Tree has something similar. So I am going to, you could actually do, leave it like this and just have the snowflake coming off the side and that's actually really cute too. But I'm going to go ahead and just mark it where I want to cut it and I'm going to cut the snowflake down and just put partially that inside the sign and that's it. I used my tin snips because this one was really thick and scissors weren't cutting it. Um, and so that's it. I just hot glue this down and the sign's done. I think it looks really high end. I actually saw a similar sign at Hobby Lobby. So I think this one turned out great.
I'm going to start with this sled and let it snow from Dollar Tree as well as this wood board I picked up at Michael's. And I went ahead and um, I got my sign here <laughs> and I went ahead and I painted the sled with sage green and then I used the um, Waverly antique wax on the bottom part and then again the sage on the um, let it snow and then just a little white paint on the snowflake this ribbon is also from Dollar Tree and it matches perfect um, this is a snowflake Shoot, I don't remember where I found it, <laughs> but uh, you'll definitely be able to find snowflakes at Dollar Tree. I just felt like there was this like big open negative space there, so I thought if I took that ribbon and just kind of wrapped it around, you see how it looks? It just seemed too naked. So I'm just putting this piece of ribbon around there just to, like I said, just give it a little bit more of a visual balance. So I'll go ahead and just take my hot glue and I will glue that down. And now it's just a matter of gluing everything down and then I have a beautiful piece of home decor for winter. Now you are going to see a theme throughout these projects that all have this minty green color. Um, it's sage, I guess is what they're calling it, but I, I feel like it's a minty winter color. And you'll see what color, uh, what inspired me is uh, the next project, the glass that I found at Dollar Tree is absolutely gorgeous. And then I had a scrap of paper in my stash that was also the same color, divine, divine, divine. <laughs> Look, even my glue gun matches. Um, I do use that other glue gun there, um, I put white, a hot glue in it so that way if you see it it just kind of looks like a snowdrop to make this faux birchwood candle um, holder this is a new item that I just found at Dollar Tree recently along with this lightweight spackling also from Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna start grabbing some of this and rubbing it onto um, this, I guess this would probably be a pencil holder. Um, it was in their craft section and it's really nice looking. Um, and they also had it in square. And so I'm just going to just push it down and it doesn't stick super great. You're gonna see little pieces fall off, but if you just take your fingertips, push down and just go slowly around it, it, it does stick. And it will look so neat, just wait and see. And once it's dried, I'm gonna go ahead and take a piece of sandpaper and I am going to lightly, and I mean very lightly, sand this down. It has a really neat texture, but there's some little pokies and things, so I'm just barely touching it um, with the sandpaper and it just smooths it out perfectly. And now I'm going to cover it with a cashew um, colored paint from Waverly and I'm just going to put that around the whole thing. And this kind of seals it in, um, kind of helps with the dust that was coming off of it. And now I'm going to take hazelnut and I'm just going to make a very light line 
onto this. And this is where we're going to make that faux birch wood. And at first I found that I was using a too thick of a, a brush. I end up switching it out. But it's okay if you make a little bit of a, a mistake like I just did. It actually, I end up doing it more on purpose because it makes just a deeper um, brown uh, going around it and it makes it look like it has some depth. So here I just go for that really straight um, tipped brush and it makes for the lines to be much thinner. So I'm just going to play around here. I'm going to go around making these little marks and then I'm going to darken up some spots. And then lastly, I'm going to make that where it kind of looks like the wood is peeling away and you've revealed kind of that dark black spot. Here's where I just do that little darker spot. I play around with some of the colors to give it that depth and just how the birchwood looks. To finish off, I just put this little piece of pool noodle in and some of this Spanish moss on top. You really could put anything you want inside. Um, this just seemed to fit perfect. And then once that's on there, I just let put this little battery operated tea light right on top and set it inside. And it made the cutest and most rustic looking birchwood candle holder. Okay, so when I made my snowman wreath, I used three, which I did forget to say, I used three, um, tubes of the mesh, okay? So I was left with these three tubes left. And I thought, I gotta do something with these tubes. And I thought, I'm gonna make some snowy wood, wood pieces. Now, I thought, am I gonna make it snowy wood or am I gonna try to make it birch wood? I just decided to make it look like a snowy log. So I'm just taking the lightweight spackle from Dollar Tree with a little bit of water um, and I'm just rubbing it all the way around. Nothing fancy, just rubbing it all the way around with my fingers. And I do this on all three of the little cardboard cutouts. Then with just regular old cardboard scraps, I cut out circles and I painted them with this cashew from Waverly. I didn't realize that it wasn't chalk paint. It's actually like high gloss paint, which is, you know, you know I would have rather it been like a mat or chalk, so I recommend that's what you do. And then I'm just taking my brown um, paint marker here and just making like the wood circles that you would see on the ends of the wood. And then I'll just glue those um, to the top and bottom of those logs. Uh, I really like these. These are new markers I got. I'm gonna mark. I'm going to link them below, but they're fine tip paint markers. So. It's really nice when you have you know little spaces or you just want to write and you don't want that big paint tip. Again, you see I'm just hot gluing these uh, little rounds to the ends of my logs and it just made a cute little accent. I really like having accent pieces. Um, you know, you don't want just a bunch of signs and stuff. It's nice to have small um, little pieces that can just accent your decor. Dollar Tree carries this birch wood ribbon as well as these wood cup holders, or not cup holders, pencil holders. Um, and so that's actually a really good size. It almost covers it completely. I'm going to make it cover from the top down because we are going to put something around the bottom. But this is um, 
this is some pretty cool ribbon. I've had it for a while. It was, it's in their everyday ribbon, not like in their seasonal. So um, you should still be able to find this, no problem. And I'm just gonna use the double stick tape again. Um, you could use glue, Mod Podge, whatever you want. This is just so easy and non-messy. I love anything that is not messy, <laughs> I have to clean up. So I just go ahead and I wrap this around the holder. I'm going to use this ornament here from Dollar Tree. It almost fits perfectly, but since it doesn't, I am going to have to cut it. Um, I'm using my heat tool here. It just releases the glue so I can rip this off um, gently because I am going to reuse it. So it does, like I said, it doesn't quite fit and it does, you know, break apart, but then we're just going to cover that up um, back with that element. Now if you can't find something like this um, still at Dollar Tree, you um, can use a scrunchie. You can use one of their fuzzy scrunchies. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other fuzzy things, but get creative. Um, I find that I use scrunchies um, quite a bit in decorating, so check out that section. But I'm just going to glue this back down so it sits flat and that is it. Now I have um, another candle holder or you could put other items in this, but I just think it goes really well with the other items that I have made so far. I've really enjoyed making over the snowman wreath forms from Dollar Tree. Now you see I started and I actually didn't really have a rhythm until right now that I'm showing you. So I thought I would start here. So I'm taking this, um, oh goodness, mesh that I also got from Dollar Tree. And what I'm doing is I'm pulling it up through the center, okay, because you see it's just two wires. So that's something new for me working with. So I just pull it up a little bit and give it a little poof. And then I'm going to take my roll and I'm going to wind it all the way around. Okay, so I'm doing basically like a 360 with it. I'm going all the way around as you see right here. And then I'm gonna go back up again, pull just a little bit through, just enough to make a poof. And then I'm gonna go all the way around again. Okay. And then as I'm moving along, I'm going to just kind of keep pushing it towards um, the right, just so I've got, you know, making sure I'm covering the whole area. So again, just pull, pull up, make a little poof, and then go all the way around. And I'm just going to continue that around till I get both circles complete. Okay, so on to the hat. I'm going to take a piece of white felt and just cover that top square, super easy. Just cut it a little bit bigger than um, the frame, flip it over and glue it down. So my thought process here was I have some really gorgeous white ribbons and I wanted to use those as the hat, but the black of the wreath form showed through. So I figured I'll put a little piece of white felt and that will help um, the ribbon look nice and you can get white felt from Dollar Tree. Okay now that I have that glued on I grabbed both of these ribbons they were really neat one you can see here's kind of like a velvety um, I don't know what you would call it almost like a crocheted pattern so I really liked that but I ended up going with the one that kind of looked more like snow um, it's just such a gorgeous ribbon so because it kind of has a see-through nature, I went ahead and wrapped it around twice just to give it a really solid look. If you're using solid ribbon, you wouldn't need to go around twice. You could just go around one time. Turn it over and glue it down. Now, this ribbon is just a really great width that it's gonna be great for the brim. Again, I just am going to take it around a couple times till it's solid and then the hat is done and decorated.
think I'm going to take this snowy garland wreathy stuff that I got on clearance, I believe from Joann's. Um, I got a really good deal on it. And I'm just going to cut off a couple of the pieces. So you could use like um, little stems from floral stems. Um, what I know Dollar Tree has something similar. So I'm just cutting off a few of these pieces. And then I'm just going to adhere them down with zip ties. Now, if you were watching my last video, I asked you if you're finding zip ties in your Dollar Tree because mine have been out for months. And so when I was at the 99 cent store the other day, I got a whole like Kate, like a little tub of them with different sizes. So I was like, okay, that's great. But it was like $5. And then I go into Dollar Tree yesterday, and guess what's back in? Zip ties, all the sizes and everything. So they're back in my stores. All right, so anyhow, I'm adding this little snowflake ornament. I do not know where I got it. Again, in my stash, I'm just adding it down to the middle there. And I'm going to take that ribbon again that I used on the hat, and I'm just going to make loops and pinch. So there you see, I just made a loop and a pinch. Now there's a million ways to make this type of bow. Okay, no, there's not a million. There's probably like three. <laughs> so um, I just found this one the easiest. I know sometimes when I do the fold over method, I just can't seem to like fluff it out properly. So I figured I would try this method and it worked really good for me. Once I have enough loops that I'm happy with, I go ahead again and zip tie um, this bow together and then um, I'm going to cut myself some tails and add those down and then just tie this ribbon down to my wreath form. After I do that I just took some silver ribbon from my stash. Um, again I buy so much ribbon on clearance after the holidays and so you guys are seeing this right now after holidays so make sure you're checking your stores um, for some clearance uh, items, um, florals, ribbons. You will thank me <laughs> next year when you have all these fun finds. Um, also, follow the freebie guy, okay? So either on Instagram or just go to the internet and it's thefreebieguy.com. And he's gonna tell you when Michael's grab bags come out because you will majorly score. Okay, so anyhow, I just tied this silver ribbon just in a bow like you tie your shoes. And then I add a little snowy pine cone that I did. I don't know if I got from Dollar Tree or not. I think I did actually. I just add that to the bow and this is complete and I'm so in love with this little snowman. If you would like to see another snowman that I made with the same wreath form, I will link it here at the top. These votives are stunning from Dollar Tree. Um, also, I, I'm gonna use these two um, tea light glass candlesticks, but look at these. Are those not stunning? They are so beautiful. And they're just trees, um, so they don't look, you know, Christmassy. I'm gonna use, um, I went ahead and I cut out some cardstock there to, to fit the glass tops. Um, you could also use these candlesticks as well. Um, I accidentally broke, I was going to use those and then I accidentally broke one. So I had to go with plan B. So I just took these wood snowflakes from Dollar Tree and I painted them white. And now I'm going to glue on the cardstock here. Um, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these uh, candlesticks down upside down and I want them to have um, a good space, a good adherence spot, but I'm also gonna fill uh, the bottoms of those tea lights. So um, we'll make it a really cute bottom. I'm going to use some of this that came in my Michael's grab bag last year, but you could use any, you know, white uh, snow or foamies or just any white stems, whatever you think will look pretty in the bottom of your tea light there. Um, again, I'm just going to cut a little piece of this off 
and I'm gonna add a little snow covered pine cone as well. And then once I like the way that looks in my tea light, I will go ahead and glue that down. Again, I'm gonna use white hot glue stick so that way I don't have to worry about it looking funky and I'm actually then gonna go around it one more time with the uh, glue stick there and it kind of look like snow. So I will do that for both of these candle holders. Then using some E6000, I'm gonna go ahead and glue that votive holder onto the top. And I think these make the high-end looking uh, candle holders. Look how beautiful those are. I'm telling you, those votives are gorgeous. And I think it's a fun little addition to put the bottoms on as well. I love making over these sleds from Dollar Tree. They're so cute. I can't believe they're a dollar. We're a dollar twenty-five now. <laughs> so I grabbed some winter paper out of my scrapbook stash. Of course, this paper is really old. You can see I've used some of it on a scrapbook page before. So um, they have such cute Christmas and winter paper packs at Michael's. So just grab yourself one of those. So I cut out two of the patterns there for my sled. Okay, so what I wanted to show you is faux stitching. Okay, so it's really easy to do. You're just gonna take some sort of sharp, you know, paper piercer, and they do sell them at the Dollar Tree. You get a two pack, they're pink. So be on the lookout for those if you want one. This is just an old one I have. I went ahead and I poked a hole every half of a centimeter. So you see I put a piece of foam board underneath and that just makes it so it's really easy to poke a hole. So I'm gonna do that all the way around. Then I just take a white uh, gel pen. This particular one is the best I've ever found. I bought it on Amazon and I will link it below. But you just go from the dots that you poked all the way around and it looks like stitching. So if you're intimidated to actually sew on your paper, this gives you a faux stitching. I'm just gonna go ahead and rub the, the glitter off here with my sanding block, also from Dollar Tree. And my favorite thing to get glitter up is the Ladybug vacuum. You've probably seen a lot of DIYers use it. It is worth every penny of $10 is what it costs on Amazon. It really works. I love it, especially with glitter. And you know Dollar Tree loves their glitter. I just take like a baby wipe and I just wipe off any excess glitter that might be left behind. Now it's just time to adhere these down. You can use regular glue, Mod Podge. I'm just gonna use my double-sided tape runner. Um, if you're a paper crafter, you probably know about this existence, but if you're not, these are a great thing to have. They're very sticky. They can just stick it right down. And I like it because with Mod Podge, you get wrinkles and things like that. So if it's a surface that I can use and use the tape runner, I'm going to do that. And I will link my favorite one also down in the description. I'm just going to sand the excess paper off the sides. Okay, so now it is time to embellish. I have this little round wood piece. I do believe I got a Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to put down this sticker. Now, if you don't have stickers that coordinate, don't forget you can just print them off of your printer and cut them out and, you know, tape them down, glue them down. You don't have to have the actual stickers. 
And then I'm going to put this little warm and cozy down on a piece of cardboard because I want it to have a thick thickness to it. Um, I could just tape it right down to the project. But again, I just think that when you have dimension and you have different textures. I just think it really takes the project up a notch. Okay, so now I'm going to work on the bow um, for the top. I love this uh, ribbon from Michaels. It was actually in their Easter section, but it doesn't look Eastery to me, although you can use it for Easter. And I'm going to use some of this deco mesh type stuff from Dollar Tree. It's so beautiful. I couldn't decide if I wanted it on top of the ribbon or behind the ribbon. I went ahead and decided that I wanted it on top, so I cut it down a little bit more. So just gather that in the middle along with the ribbon as well. And then I'm just using, um, you know, the little bread ties. I had a bunch of them, and so I'm just using one of those around the middle. I'd like to say, let me know in the comments, has your Dollar Tree had zip ties? Mine has been out for months, and I mean, I've gone to we have a lot of Dollar Trees where I live, and all of them out, no zip ties. I cannot find zip ties. I can only find them at a hardware store, and they're expensive. So anyhow, I'm just going to take my crocodile, and I'm going to put holes in these two stickers that I put down. Um, if you've never seen a crocodile, it puts a hole in any kind of surface, metal, wood, and it's like butter. I have weak hands and it seriously just goes through like butter. Okay, so I'm going to take some of the jute twine here and I'm just going to feed it through the holes so that each of them is kind of like a hanging type ornament. That burlap snowflake is from Hobby Lobby. It came in a pack of like six in their ornament section. So I'm just going to take these now and I'm going to place them how I like so that they're going to you know, quote unquote, hang from the bow, even though I'm going to glue everything down, but it's going to look like it's all hanging. So I just glue those down. And then I'm actually going to glue uh, the warm and cozy and the snowman down because I don't want them swinging around. I want them to be right in place. So I will glue those all down with how I want them to look. Once I get all those glued down, I will go ahead and add my bow. And you see the little bell off to the side. I think that is also from Hobby Lobby that I got a pack of, I don't know, six, eight, twelve, something like that. And I got those in the craft section. And I'm just going to place it over the bow there. And then I will add a little wood snowflake from Dollar Tree to the center of that. And you'll notice I didn't paint it or anything. I like the natural wood look. And that's it for this project. I think it's super cute. What do you think? I bought a case of these little gnomes back in the spring. They were blue, green, and pink. And they've come in handy. I've been able to kind of decorate them for each holiday. So I'm just taking a silver Sharpie here and I'm just going to kind of draw some freehand snowflakes. Now this silver pen is like a really thick tip, so I couldn't get them very precise. So if you have like a, a skinnier pen, it's going to be a lot easier. But I'm just making X's and, you know, as you can see here, just, just lines. I didn't do anything fancy, but I'm just going to do it around the front part of his little hat there. And I can just put him in my decor and he's just a little snowy gnome. This hardly feels like a DIY, but when I saw this wall um, piece there from Dollar Tree, I thought it looked so snowy and wintry. This is a old clock kit. I stole the clock part out of it for another project, so it's just kind of been sitting there waiting for something, and this was the perfect thing. I literally am just putting the sticker down, and that's it. And it makes just a beautiful winter accent. I feel like this is something I would actually buy in a store. 
uh, for like $10. It looks really high end. That sticker is amazing from Dollar Tree. And they have them in all sorts of different colors and um, designs, but doesn't that kind of look like a snowflake? So there with my gnome, look at how wintry that looks. And these cost a dollar. I gathered all of my wood snowflakes from Dollar Tree. Um, yeah, one the one in the package is from last year. There's these little tiny ones from this year. The very first ones I showed you are a, like a connected sign. Now these ones right here, I don't know where they're from. I just have them in my stash. They could be Dollar Tree, but I don't think so. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take a canvas and I'm going to do a reverse canvas. So if you haven't seen that before, what I do is I cut the canvas part off of the frame. And using my rotary tool, I found that it actually worked a little easier than X-Acto knife, but then of course X-Acto knife will work too. The other way you can do this is by popping all the staples out. That will also get rid of it, but that's not necessary because this will be the back side. So once I get this torn off, and we will be reusing this, so don't, you know, don't get rid of it because we're using it. We're just flipping it so that the inside frame will now become the outside frame. I also like the look of the cream. Um, that's the back side of the canvas instead of the white. So that works really well too. Now, I got a little overzealous and I put the canvas back on before I painted the frame. I, I don't know what I was thinking, but it's okay because <laughs> I taped it off and I was able to paint the frame. But you definitely want to paint the frame before this step. Um, so now I'm putting it back on. Okay, so now you'll see that you've got um, the wood, because I flipped it over, so we have the nice side of the wood um, on the front of the canvas. So I'm now I'm flipping it over again, and I'm going to re-staple this onto now what's now the back of the canvas. So I just use my staple gun there, and you just want to make sure that you pull everything taut, and then you're going to cut off the excess canvas. Because you have to remember before the, the canvas was going around the wood and this time it is not. So you will have some excess to cut off. I do end up painting the frame with moss uh, colored Waverly chalk paint and I paint them white and I think the steel gray is the other color. So I'm just going to take the various sizes here and I'm going to lay them out how I want, and I'm trying to make a snowflake shaped Christmas tree. So I just painted um, the snowflakes in the three colors. As you can see here, I had to tape it off in order to make the frame. And I don't know why my camera kind of tilted, so it kind of looks like this project's falling off the table, but I don't know. I don't know what happened. I think my camera stand lost a screw, and so it keeps tilting, so I apologize. So now I'm going to lay these back on and then once I find that they're all in the right spots, I will just take my hot glue gun and glue them down and then that's it. The last step was I just turned it over and put a sawtooth um, hanger on the back and then this was ready to hang. Um, how did I decide which colors? Well, basically I just painted each one of the big snowflakes each color and then I just kind of kept going from there. So it's kind of fun having all the different sizes of the snowflakes. Again, I got all but like two of them from Dollar Tree. And I think, yeah, I think this would work even without those. So that's it. I have them all laid out, hot glue them down, and this project is complete. I really hope that you enjoyed these DIYs today. I know I went a little faster than usual. I have been recording so much that my camera was full, and so I had to kind of cut the filming part down. So, yeah. This project is inspired by something I saw on the Kirkland's website. It is $34.99, but I make it much cheaper. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start by using Elephant Chalk Paint from Waverly, and I'm just gonna paint 
a piece of scrapbook scrapbook I was gonna say scrapbook scrap wood <laughs> so then I'm gonna take some chalk paint from Waverly in moss and then I'm just gonna dry brush it with my chippy brush um, over the top now in the inspired piece it was red but I do not have red in my decor this year I've gone with more neutral tones greens creams that kind of thing so I'm going to make this with a moss color but of course you can make it with red so like I said in the inspiration piece it was 8 inches by 24 inches and this is much smaller so you know Obviously, it's going to cost less, but um, I just was like, the, these little ski ornaments from Dollar Tree this year are really good, and so I'm going to use that on this. So again, just a piece of scrap wood. I started with elephant gray chalk paint, and now I'm just taking the moss chalk paint and dry brushing it on to give it that, you know, rustic look like the inspiration piece. I just kind of keep adding it I start light because I want to make sure I don't get too much paint on I've done that so many times so I'm just starting with the light and then I'm gonna go to my Cricut and I'm just gonna type out happy holidays with a snowflake and I will cut that out as you can see here here is the ornament from Dollar Tree super cute can't believe they can sell this for a dollar I'm thankful and I'm sure a lot of you have heard that Dollar Tree is going to start moving it up to $1.25. So, not a huge deal unless you buy 50 things at once like maybe I do. <laughs> okay, so here again I'm going to take my uh, vinyl cut here from my Cricut and I will just rub it down on here. I will glue my little um, skis down and I think this sign looks a lot like the inspiration piece. Again, just that it's green. Of course, the skis are a little different, but uh, I basically made this for a little over a dollar because of course it's scrap wood and there's some vinyl here. So let's call it the two, three dollars. And we duped a $34.99. Kirkland item again of course mine's a little bit of a smaller version and then lastly I just glued on some of the tumbling tower blocks from Dollar Tree to the back and this just makes it so it can stand up on its own which I like so I can add to my decor I like to pick up signs like this at garage sales because it had a nice whitewash behind it and I'm gonna cover it anyway. But again, Dollar Tree has signs like that. Here's a paper pack from Close to My Heart. I don't know how old it is, but again, it was in my stash and it matched perfect. So I cut out some pieces of that paper. It had these kind of little uh, stickers and little um, craft colored little cutouts. Remember, if you don't have little cutouts like this, of course you can use your Cricut or you can just print them out on some cardstock and hand cut them out. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and I kind of play around with some of the elements. I know this is going kind of fast, but you'll see me um, glue all the elements down here in a minute. But I love pattern paper and mixing them. So I had um, this piece right here, which was just some pine corn. My coats and using my double stick tape I will tape that down now whenever I'm working with paper and paper crafting I do like to use some of the 3d foam tape from Dollar Tree to pop up some of it and I think that gives it some nice dimension and makes it look higher end so then I cut out this blue piece here it has like the birchwood trees and this was some twine that came with it it's got it's white with some gold in it and I'm just gonna tape it to the back here and wrap it around twice and this will just give it some more dimension a little bit more um, I don't know what I want to say <laughs> decoration and then um, I will glue this down to the paper as well I love these uh, double stick uh, tape runners I've been using them for 
at least 15 years. So they're just always, always my number one. It's by Tombow. I will link them down below. Um, I'm going to go ahead and this was just a little piece that had like um, music notes that I thought was really cute too. Okay, so now I, this was one of the ones that came with the kit. It says Winter Wishes and I just backed it with another piece of their white pattern paper. But here's where I'm going to use that foam tape. I'm going to pop it up off of the page there. This is going to, like I said, give it a little bit more interest. And then it's just a matter of gluing down those other elements using either pop-up tape or, uh, in this case, I used a glue stick because I could not find my precision um, tip glue. I have since found it, thank goodness. But <laughs> I recommend the precision tip glue better, but um, again, all I had was my um, glue stick. But that is it for this project. It's... It's so beautiful. I love paper. I love working with paper. Um, there, it's just, it's always on sale at Michaels and Joann's. You can just find these paper pads that have all these interesting elements, um, but then you can also buy it per sheet too. Um, also Hobby Lobby carries um, the sheets as well. Okay, so I'm gonna cut out another layered image on my Cricut. Now, I wanna show you this little tip. So if you don't wanna put each color through your Cricut, like you see here, there's six mats. If you don't wanna do this six times, what you can do is you can move the items onto one mat. So here you see I have three, what would normally be three mats is now all on one mat. So then when I put my papers down, you see here, I put the three different colors in the spots that will cut. So instead of doing three mats, I now am only putting one mat through and getting three of my different colored cuts out. Now this um, SVG is from Barely Art. It is a free SVG and I will link it down below. And it's a snowy owl and it's so cute, so perfect for this decor. Okay, so I've cut all of the pieces out. Now, the original idea behind this is it's a card. So you can see how my blue, light blue one up in the corner is bigger than the others, and that's because it's supposed to be a card. Now, I made it bigger, and this is going to go into a frame. So I will end up cutting that blue down. Also, taking my Barely Art glue here with its really fine tip, I'm going to go around all these little small areas, as you can see here, and glue it down. Now, a lot of times with these, I like to pop them up and make them pretty, but this one was too intricate, and that wasn't going to happen. So I just glue them all down on top of each other. Of course, my camera uh, just stopped, <laughs> so um, you won't see me glue down each of these layers. Um, but for the most part, you will. And again, so the dark blue there is my bottom layer. The one I'm doing right now will go on top of that. And then the light blue will go on top of the navy blue that I'm putting glue on right now. And then what you don't see me do is glue the owls together. But I think you can see it's just layering the white on the gray and the gray on the blue, and that's it. So didn't really miss a whole lot. And so here's that part where I'm cutting down um, the top layer there because, you know, I'm not making a card. Again, this Fairly Art glue is amazing. I don't know why it took me so long to buy it. It's, I want to say it's $10. And 
when you're, you know, squirting out such a small amount of glue, it lasts a really long time. And then it just has this very tiny um, place to pour it out. Okay, so there is my owl. Now he's going to go on top and then add his little scarf. And that's it. So I glue those down. Then I simply just put it in a frame. I could have painted the frame, but I just left it like that. And look at how cute this little art piece is. I know you've probably seen a lot of these beaded um, decor pieces, but this one was super chunky, so I wanted to recreate that. So I'm using 25 millimeter beads that I got off Amazon, as well as these snowflake ornaments from Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to stack four of them on top of each other, because like I said, this is going to be a chunky piece. So I'll paint that snowflake with linen um, colored Rust-Oleum chalk paint. And then for the beads, I'm going to take some of my antique wax, pour it into this little container here, and then I'm going to roll the beads around. After I do that, and get them nice and coated, then I'm going to rinse them off. Is there an easier way to do this? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe stain them in coffee? But this worked well for me. And then I just went and I rinsed them under the faucet and... It came out good and it didn't even stain my hands or anything like that so that's what I do and there you can see them at the top they're not very dark I probably could have left them in there longer uh, but I didn't know I'd never tried this before and so I didn't want them to be too dark so that's what I did then I'm just gonna take um, the snowflake and kind of rough it up a little bit and I will string my beads and the snowflake and that'll be done it will be just this chunky little piece to add to my decor and this is something you could make for every holiday because Dollar Tree has these ornament shapes pretty much for every holiday. You could do hearts for Valentine's, shamrocks, Easter eggs. So definitely keep that in mind moving forward because I really, I really love the chunky look of this. For this project, you'll actually need four packs of these. I had grabbed two, not knowing what I was going to do with them, just knowing they were really pretty. And then this idea came to me and I ended up having to go and get two more packages. So I'm just going to cut off the leaves of all these. And then I'm going to use a um, cone-shaped styrofoam piece from Dollar Tree. This is a total Dollar Tree project. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a tree out of this. So I just, they have tall, like longer pieces and then shorter pieces. So I'm going to start with the shorter pieces and I'm just going to glue them around the top and they're going to kind of cascade down this cone. And then I did the top. I I kind of went back and forth. Do I start from the bottom? Do I start from the top? I am actually glad I start, started from the top. I think that worked best. So I will go ahead and put the first layer around. And then what I do is in between 
those is I kind of feed the next leaf up inside. And trust me, it works really easy um, because you're only gluing the tops of these. So the bottoms are completely, you know, not adhered. So it's easy to kind of lift them and put you know, the other leaves inside. Now, like I said, I had to go back and get two more packages. So you're going to see in this video that went into a completely different light and that I have a little hand brace on. <laughs> I hurt my hand a couple weeks ago and some days it's fine and some days it hurts really bad. I don't know what I did. Maybe I'll go to the doctor, but I think y'all know it's just a pain. The doctor for anything. <laughs> so, okay, this is what it looks like when everything is glued down. So obviously I can't have those leaves hanging at the bottom like that. So I will cut around and just cut these little pieces off. Now these little pieces that I cut off work absolutely perfectly to fill in the little gaps down at the bottom. So I actually just flip them around and put the triangle part up inside and then the flat side will now be at the bottom. So worked perfectly. Did not do that on purpose and it just worked out that way. A lot of times when I make projects like this, I have no idea how they're going to turn out. I just kind of get an idea in my head and I go with it and I just kind of work on the fly. So obviously the top looks silly. You don't have a flat top on a tree, but no problem because I'm going to take, I think I took five of these and I'm just going to glue them so that they come to a point at the top and that's it. It's just this little cute tree that is going to add a really nice element to my snowy winter uh, vignette. this centerpiece from Joann's. You won't even believe how much I made this for. So obviously this is on sale for $60. Okay, first I start out with this palette sign I had in my stash that I didn't like. So I sanded it down and then I cut um, two sides off so that I just have these three pieces left. There's still a little blue showing from the old paint, but it's not gonna matter. If it did, I would just kind of paint over it, but we're good. So I had a little bit more sawdust down, so I just took my little ladybug vacuum and went over it just to get the extra dust off. And then I'm gonna take um, this floral foam from Dollar Tree. This is a full pack. I love when they cut it down for me. And I will go ahead and hot glue it down to my palette board. Now, Here's why this isn't going to cost me very much money because first I used a sign that I had bought and I didn't like and I've had it for years and years keep saying I'm going to do it over. Well also here's a stem from Michaels. It retails for $20. I can't even imagine buying a stem for $20. So I pulled it all apart and I took out all of the red. Okay, and so now I'm left with just the greenery. So here's the kicker. I got a Michael's grab bag, and if you're not familiar with those, I do have a video of me um, getting one recently, and I will post that here. But two years ago after Christmas, I got my very first Michael's grab bag. I didn't even know it was a thing, but it is, and you get a huge box or a bag 
for five dollars actually i think when i got this one it was only four dollars i think they were five dollars this year but back in 2020 they were only four dollars and i got the most massive amount of floral stems i want to say it was like six hundred dollars or something worth of floral stems in my five dollar no my four dollar grab bag okay so these stems are from that I understand you guys probably won't find this exact deal, but you're just going to grab greenery, okay? So you can grab greenery anywhere. Um, so many craft stores have greenery, and it's not that expensive, especially when you're just buying it as greenery. When you buy it as a big bundle, like you just saw at the beginning of the screen, then they're like, oh, it's Christmas, we can charge way more. But just grab some greenery, that's all you need. So I'm just going to start taking the like greenery and again you can see i have a big mix of greenery and i'm just going to kind of put it all the way around and then a little bit going upwards then i'm going to take the next type of greenery and i'm just going to start placing that around as well and i'm just going to keep going with all of the different greeneries okay once i get these in um and get it nice and full and then i will add some pine cones that's it. That's this DIY. It was so simple. Again, <laughs> I think this probably cost me maybe a couple dollars. I'm going to say maybe two dollars in the stems because it was in the grab bag, a dollar for the floral. And then again, it was a palette sign that I, I hated and I was just keeping around to make over someday. So it didn't really cost me a whole lot. But I would say if you could find some greenery and some items, so you could probably make this for around $10 to $15, which is much better than the $120 retail price it had and even the $50 sale price tag that it was coming with. And this thing looks spectacular in the middle of my table. And what I love about it is it's just kind of wintry. I didn't, there's no colors, anything. It doesn't necessarily have to be Christmassy, but it'll work for this time of year. Okay, so now you see that it's nice and full. And again, so I have these stems that already had pine cones on them. And I know Dollar Tree has these. So keep an eye out. They do have the pine cones on the stem. But if for some reason you can't find those, um, you could just hot glue your uh, pine cones down. That's it. Now, I wanted to keep it like this and show you because this is the store dupe of me making it as much like the store as I could. But I decided that I thought if I used three of these little glass um, tall tea light holders from Dollar Tree and added them down into the middle, that I could also make it, you know, a lighted centerpiece. I can see them now. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Lisa and I love all things DIY. I hope that you're enjoying these videos and if you do, it would be amazing if you liked and subscribed and even shared. Yeah, that's my dog spying in the background. Also, I want to let you know I'm over on Instagram where I share all the projects from here as well as hauls how I decorate other budget friendly items. So find me over there. It's a dollar underscore underscore mom and tell my dogs to stop playing. <laughs> For this project, I'm using three of these signs from Dollar Tree. I just hit it really hard and it pops off really easily. Um, I'm actually only popping one of them off. You could pop two off if you wanted. Um, and then, like I said, I had like three different ones in my stash. I had a same. Patrick's Day and a Valentine's and a you saw um 
fall. <laughs> and I'm going to stack them on top of each other. And this is just going to look like a little crate. So of course you could use a crate as well, a little box. There's all sorts of things you could do use instead. Um, again, I, I have way too many of these things in my <laughs> stash and I've got to start using things up. But anyhow, I'm just using my wood glue here to stack them up. And what we're going to do is make a little winter scene. Um, this was so easy to make, too easy to make, um, but I think it looks so beautiful. And, you know, this would also make a cute Christmas scene next year if you'd like. Um, but there's so many cute snowy elements. Uh, so this is a stem from Michael's 999. I'm sure it's at least 50 to 60% off now if you run in there. Um, it was in my Michael's grab bag last year. And um, so I am just going to cut off this extra stem here and then I'm just going to kind of bend it around so it fits down into this. Um, you don't need floral foam or anything. This particular one is so thick it just sits in there no problem. And I kind of, you see there, I've kind of bent up the top portion because I kind of want that to be like my background, like the top of the back part <laughs> so I just sit here and I fold in until I get it to look the way I want and then I'm just going to start filling it with elements uh, from Dollar Tree that I can put down in it and make it look so wintry At this point, I did want to add little white uh, bottle brush trees. Um, they were not in my craft room. I had to go find them. <laughs> and so when you see the finished product project, you will see that I did add two bottle brush trees in there as well. And then of course I am just wrapping this around and just giving it a little bow for the front and then this project's complete that little lantern does light up um, so definitely adds to that warm wintry decor um, and this ribbon too is also from michael's i'm telling you run in there and get yourself some stuff on clearance that is always how i get the more expensive craft items is on clearance I saw this piece on the Michaels website and I cannot believe how much it was. And I'm going to be able to recreate it. So I'm gonna take this triangle piece um, and this wood, two wood pieces all from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to cover them in steel paint from Waverly. Then I'm gonna take this 3D kit here also from Dollar Tree. And these are really neat. This is new to Dollar Tree this year and I'm loving them. If you saw my nativity video, I used one of these. So this is how they work. You kind of stick them up in the slots. I'm going to go ahead and push all those items aside and I'm just going to use the trees here and I will paint them with white chalk paint as you see here. Okay, so now for my little deer characters. I want to make this look like wood. So I cut these out on my Cricut and I cut four of them. So you can cut as many as you want. And I glued them all on top of each other. So there you can see that's four layers right there. And that's all I thought was necessary, but you could make it thicker if you wanted. And then I'm using my Barely Art Precision Glue. I showed you here how it's down. I just put a little glue all the way around and then I glued each layer on top of each other. And I think this does look a lot like the little wood, like you would get 
kind of like those trees from Dollar Tree. Again, I found those images in Cricut Design Space. Okay, so now my three pieces are covered in the steel gray chalk paint. And now I'm gonna start by putting the trees in. So I want these to go all the way flat against my triangle. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold it up here and I'm gonna mark with a pencil where I need to cut. Okay, so because I'm going to want this to be flush to the back. So once I mark the spots, I'm just gonna take my X-Acto knife and run it across a couple times. And then that should, um, well, it should, it did <laughs> make it fit perfectly inside that triangle. Okay, now that I have that pushed back to the background, I'm gonna put the deer in the foreground by gluing it there to the top of the triangle. And I didn't even need adhesive on those trees because it is in there tight. <laughs> so I will go ahead and just glue um, the deer onto the front. And then I'm gonna glue my triangle there on top of this cube and then the cube onto our bottom layer and then this project's done. It's a very unique product, product, project. <laughs> it's a very unique project. And I'm glad I came across it on Michael's website because I really enjoy it. It's just something really different and it was really easy to make. It just took a couple things of paint and a couple things on my Cricut and voila, a much cheaper version so this cost me four dollars in supplies um, and then a little bit of cardstock there for my deer so a much more affordable option Don't forget to check the kids section at the dollar spot. There's usually some really fun paint your own projects. Look how cute these little wooden houses are. And I love that it had that tall one. Okay, so then I'm grabbing some of these Christmas trees from Dollar Tree. You get three tall ones and three short ones. So I, I love the variation of sizes. So I'm gonna take my little, what I say looks like a cabin and I'm going to paint the top with antique wax. I'm going to paint the main house with moss from Waverly. Okay, so once that's done, I'm going to take my cloche hair, which I should have showed you first, but <laughs> this is the base of the cloche. So what I'm going to do is cut out a piece of cardboard and everything is going to be on this so I can take it in and out and I can use the cloche for other seasons. Now, since the glass it comes in. It comes in about a half an inch. So I just made little half inch marks around and I'm going to cut it smaller there. Okay, so this is a fun item also from the Target dollar spot. It is faux snow and you get a ton of this. So what you do is you take a quarter of a teaspoon and you put that down into your bowl. No, I have that wrong. One teaspoon, and you put that down in your bowl, and you add a quarter cup of water. That's it. I thought you might have to stir it, but you do not have to stir it. And the powder instantly becomes a powdery snow. So it's really neat. Look at how quick that just turned into snow. I just kind of shake it around. 
this is my first time trying and using it, it's a really, really fun um, thing to have. So, you know, one teaspoon, you can make so much snow out of that one little jar. So what I'm going to do is now that I'm going to set that aside. Okay, so now you see my little cabin here is painted. And I felt like if I'm going to use snow, then I'm going to have to have a little bit snow on the roof of my cabin. So I'm just going to take my sponge and sponge on the white paint. This is just regular white acrylic paint um, that I sponge on. You can use chalk paint too. I just had quick access to this acrylic paint. Once I do that, um, I'm going to glue everything down to that little piece of cardboard. Now, don't do what I did. I have to make my mistakes here for you so you know what not to do. So don't put the snow down first. I thought it would look more natural if I put the snow down first and then glued the two trees in the cabin, but it won't stick to where the snow was. So I do end up kind of having to wipe off the snow and then reapply. No big deal, it was really easy fix. But I'm just taking regular old Elmer's glue and uh, sprinkling the snow over the top here so I would have a snow base. But again, I'm going to have to kind of reassess here in a second. So what I'm doing this and why you're watching. So I saw this pretty close, and I hope I'm saying that right, at the Target dollar spot. And I want to say it was $5. It was 3 or $5. I apologize that I don't remember. Um, but I thought I really wanted something snowy. And I don't want this to be just a one-time use just at Christmas. So I was like, oh, I will just put whatever I make on top of a piece of cardboard. And that way I can just pull it right out after Christmas. And then I can do something for Valentine's Day or maybe just something kitchen-y that will look in my kitchen. Just anything, really. So it's just a fun, see, there, there's where it fell off because <laughs> you can't do it to, uh, the snow and because it was just elmer's glue it i could just wipe it right off no biggie i'm just going to add more glue to it and more snow and this is how it turned out and a couple of different ways i styled it um it's kind of a hard thing to get a picture of because you know it's that glass plastic but i really think it turned out cute Okay, I am going to make a big bow here because it is going to go on a swag. So what I do is I decide where I want my pegs on my uh, ribbon maker. So this ribbon here is from Hobby Lobby. It's also that birch wood looking ribbon. Um, you can get this one year round and I always get my ribbon at least half off. Um, so here I decide, nope, I want it to be a little bigger. So this is the easiest way to make a bow for me and that is you just wrap it around however many loops you want. So in this case, I want a three looper. And then you see there, that is gonna be my tails. I wish I had made them a little bit longer, but that's okay. Then I'm gonna take a pipe cleaner there and I'm just going to cinch that middle up and use my pipe cleaner to get it all um, adhered together. So then once I get that pipe cleaner on, I will go ahead and I will just uh, pull out the loops there and fluff it up and it's super easy peasy. This bow maker is off Amazon, it's only $10, so it's nice to have in your stash. There's other types of bows you can make, um, this is just the one I make and find the easiest. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to the next section. I move the pegs forward so that way this bow is gonna be a little bit smaller. So I'll go ahead and I will wrap this around the same way. So again, there's my tail and then I'm gonna wrap it around so it has three loops and I will repeat the process um, on all of these bows. They're gonna all look the same, but they're gonna be big, medium, and small. Once I get them all together, I will take another uh, pipe cleaner and put all the bows together. I 
I'd like to invite you over to Instagram. My name over there is dollar underscore underscore mom. I share DIYs like this, but I also share tips, other bed budget friendly home decor, um, as well as my personal life. So if you would like to join me over there, I would sure enjoy you. Okay, then I'm gonna grab one of these snowflake ornaments from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna add it to the center here. It doesn't need to be there, but I ended up really liking it. And then what we're gonna do is just add this to two stems. Again, I got them from Michaels in my grab bag. I know, aren't these amazing stems that I have gotten from Michaels last year? I gotta tell you a little story here while I figure this out. I just pull the stems by the way until I get where it's going to be perfect for that bow and then I'll use some um, zip ties to zip tie those together. But anyhow, so I went in first thing getting my grab bag and I was looking for the florals and I was like because that's what I always want to get and the I look over and the lady is filling the bags for the florals and I was like oh okay so I kind of went over there and I was like oh are these going to be for the grab bags and she's like yeah I'm just now getting to it and I was like okay well I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for you and she goes here and she just gave me a bag an empty bag and said go ahead fill it up so I walked through this section and I filled it up with all the ones I wanted so I didn't get any duds or anything and I got hundreds of dollars of uh stems for five dollars now the grab bags are going up to ten dollars um this year big bummer but still definitely worth it I am loving these MDF snowflakes from Dollar Tree. Um, I like them just brown like this. I was just going to do something really simple. I bought a few, but then I decided to just like fully make one over. So I'm just taking my white linen chalk paint from Rust-Oleum, and I'm taking my chippy brush, and I'm just kind of lightly dusting it on, giving it a, a rustic, snowy look. And then you'll see the little piece of wood off to the right there, and that is those wood planks from Dollar Tree. So once I get all the little snowiness, rusticness here on the snowflake, I'm going to paint that plank um, completely white. Then I'm going to go to my Cricut, and I'm just going to cut an image. I did find it in Cricut Design Space, and I will print that out on some brown vinyl. Add it to this little plank here and just glue it down with some embellishments and that's it for this project. I really think it accents um, all my little winter decor very well.
going to take some of my twine and just wrap it around the edges here. Um, I just think that gives it an extra, extra rustic look. <laughs> so I will just wrap that around before I glue this down. I also just want to mention that I'm over on Instagram. I love Instagram. There's so many good ideas and stuff over there. I hope you'll join me. My name over there is dollar underscore underscore mom. So make sure you get those two underscores. Over there, I share uh, my, I share all these projects. I share some um, how I decorate, other budget friendly things. You can get to know me personal by watching my stories. So if you are on Instagram, come and find me. Okay, so this year I found this um, ribbon. It's in the regular ribbon section at Hobby Lobby. And it's just such a fun, it's just a fun texture. It's $7.99, so of course you can get it for 50% off. You can see there is a ton of it. This will probably last me a lifetime because I can't see myself using a lot of it. Um, if you saw one of my Christmas DIYs, I actually covered a little wooden tree with it and it just made a really neat texture. And so I'm just going to kind of put that behind um, my little other ribbon here. Um, if you saw one of my other projects there, you also saw that I used this ribbon. It's also one of my favorites. So when Easter comes back around, which will be here before you know it, I'm going to have to get another roll of this because I really like it. And you know the stores get stuff so so way before the holiday that it'll probably be there in January. <laughs> so I'm just going to bunch this together and tie it with a little piece of a big jute twine. I will add this down and then I have these really cute little snowy um, pine cones, little mini pine cones that are from Dollar Tree and I will just add those down to my sign and that will complete the sign. Okay, for this project, I'm going to use this Let It Snow wood piece from Dollar Tree, as well as these little snowmen from Wagner's Farmhouse Design. She has all these cute little wood cutouts, and I will link her Facebook group below. I'm just going to paint them in Rust-Oleum white paint. I'm going to take this sign from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to add a piece of scrapbook paper to the back. And then I will just glue down my little wood pieces, and that was a super simple project, but I think... It turned out super cute and it definitely accents and coordinates with the other projects I've made. Super quick little garland. So this one is already a gar garland which makes it really easy. I also grab some of these bells. They're both from Dollar Tree and I just take my little, I have this little stretchy cord in silver and I just tie um, the bells in between the ornaments there that are on this garland already. And then I picked up this pack from Dollar Tree of 10 snowflakes, and then I just tie those in between the other items, and that's it. Quick, quick, quick garland, but I think it looks beautiful. I really wanted to show this really simply, but how make it look high end. So it is chalkboard on one side, and then of course this wood on the other side. I will be using this wood side. I have the snowflake from Dollar Tree, another little ornament here from Walmart, as well as some of this ribbon from Hobby Lobby. 
It is so pretty. It's in their regular section. I got it half off and it's this pretty velvet with like a frayed edge. That's so pretty. I love it. And I also picked it up in gray. I believe they had other colors as well. Now I know uh, a snowflake wouldn't be black, but I loved the way black popped. So I just took a black Sharpie and colored over my snowflake here. And as you can see, I just wrapped the ribbon right around like a scarf, glued everything down, and that's it. Three little items, but I thought it made it look so high-end. What do you think about the black snowflake? I'm going to take this sled from Dollar Tree and cover it in Antique Wax by Waverly. And then I'm going to take my Rust-Oleum chalk paint and linen and I'm going to dry brush it onto the J and the Y hair. Now I was pretty excited because I found them for 15 cents in the clearance section at Hobby Lobby. So make sure you check that out. In my store, it's the very back corner. So I was pretty impressed with myself that my J and Y match my snowflake perfectly. The snowflake was in my stash. I want to say it came in a kit that I got the Target Dollar Spot last year. So all I'm going to do is just glue the J and the Y down and then add my snowflake. So they're a little big, but I actually like, you know, kind of the big chunky look of this. I was really excited to find the sleds this year at Dollar Tree. They had three different um, looks to the sleds. So that's fun. I'll have another two sleds to make. Um, because it had a hole in it, because this, the snowflake was like a hanging, like an ornament, I tied the tiniest <laughs> little um, bow with my jute cord and put it over the hole. Now I'm using some ribbons that I got from Stampin' Up. Um, I will try to link those below if they're still current. And I loved this like twisted cord with the green in it. And so it fit perfectly. I'm not even sure why there was little holes there, but it worked perfect because I could just thread this through. And then I'm going to take some of my other ribbons and make a little bow. And this ornament is complete. Now, I have never been into like really big ornaments. And so this year, my tree was just boring. And I was like, it needs something. And so I put it out on Instagram, asked my followers, what does it need? And they all said big, chunky ornaments. And I took their advice and it looks amazing. So I will link, not link, I will show how my Christmas tree turned out at the end of this video. I hope I gave you tons of inspiration for winter DIYs and until next time, happy crafting.